This is Sparta! Hello everyone, today we're going to speak about the Hellenic Armed Forces. The Hellenic Army was formed in 1828. The term Hellenic is the endogenous synonym for Greek. The Hellenic Army is one of the largest of three branches of the Hellenic Armed Forces, also constituted by the Hellenic Air Force and the Hellenic Navy. The Army is commanded by the Chief of the Hellenic Army General Staff, which in turn is under the command of Hellenic National Defense General Staff. The Hellenic Army is also the main contributor to and lead nation of the Balkan Battle Group, a combined arms rapid response force under the EU battle group structure. Of its military service, 19 to 45 years of age for compulsory military service during wartime, the law allows for the recruitment beginning in January of the year of the inductee's 18th birthday, thus including 17-year-olds and 18 years of age for volunteers, with conscript service obligation being one year for the Army and nine months for the Air Force and Navy. Women are also eligible for voluntary military service. But what makes up this organization? The Hellenic National Defense General Staff has the operational command of the Joint Armed Forces Headquarters and the units that operate under them. It is also responsible for organizing and implementing routine operations and exercises of the Joint Armed Forces, coordinating and implementing operations during the management of wartime and peacetime crises, and overseeing operations of the Hellenic Armed Forces outside Greek national territory. When it comes to the Hellenic Army, the basic components of the Hellenic Army are arms and corps. The former is responsible for combat missions, and the latter for logistical support. It's organized in commands, formations, and units, with the main being brigade, division, and corps. Its main mission is to guarantee the territorial integrity and independence of the country. The Hellenic Army features a budget of $7 billion and a gross domestic product of 2.3%. When it comes to manpower, its active personnel ranges in 143,000, with 216,000 in reserves and 2,535,174 available. On land, it features 1,353 tanks, which also includes 170 Leopard 2A6 HEL, 183 Leopard 2A4, 501 Leopard 1A5 slash GR, 398 M48A5s, 101 M60A3 TTS, the Hellenic Army also features an impressive group of armored fighting vehicles ranging in the 3,400 range with 491 Leonidas II, 1,985 M113A1A2s, 249 M577A2s, 12 M113 tow vehicles, 257 M106A1 and A2, 70 BMP 1 POSTs, 362 M901 ITVs. In artillery, it has an artillery brigade of 1,162 with self propelled artillery ranging in 25 Panzer Hobbits 2000s, 12 M109A5s, 82 M109A2s. 51 M109A1Bs, 104 M110A2s, 50 M109A3 GEA1s, and 223 M109A3 GEA2s. It has impressive rocket artillery as well, featuring 36 M270 multiple rocket launch systems with 116 RM70s. 
When it comes to the Hellenic Air Force, it incorporates a modern aircraft fleet with a congruent structure combined with a comprehensive air defense system that consists of a widespread network of anti-aircraft weaponry. The structure, which is overseen by the Air Force General Staff, includes the Tactical Air Force Command, the Air Force Support Command, the Air Force Training Command, and a number of other independent defense units and services, with its main mission being to defend Greek airspace and also provide combat support to the Hellenic Army and the Hellenic Navy. Of its air forces, it has a total aircraft ranging in 620, with 198 multi-role aircrafts featuring 114 F-16Cs, 40 F-16Ds, 17 Mirage 2000 EGMs, 2 Mirage 2000 BGMs, and 25 Mirage 2005 MK2s. Of its helicopter fleet, it has 268 in the air, featuring 19 AH-64A+, 9 AH-64DHA, 25 CH-47 Chinooks, 20 NH-90TTH, 26 UH-1H Iroquois, 62 AB-205s, 14 AB-206B3s, 1 Bell 212, 17 Schweitzer 300Cs, 12 AS332C1 Super Pumas, and 70 Bell 058 Kiowas. When it comes to the Hellenic Navy, they incorporate a modern fleet which consists of strike units like frigates, gunboats, submarines, and fast attack guided missile vessels, along with multiple types of support vessels in order to be able to conduct naval operations that protect Greek national interests and guarantee the integrity of Greek territorial waters, the mainland and the islands. It features a total of 99 naval vessels, which include four Hydra-class frigates and nine Ellie-class frigates. Of its submarine fleet, it has three Glavkos-class, three Poisoden-class, one Okeanos class, and four Papa Nicolas class. When it comes to a historical overview, this is where we hold them! This is where we fight! We have to look at the Greco-Turkish War. This was a war that was a conflict fought in Anatolia between the Kingdom of Greece and the new Turkish Republic in the wake of World War I. This war would represent both the final stage of the disintegration of the Ottoman Empire and the culmination of the Greek great idea of uniting all Greeks in the Eastern Mediterranean under a single Greek state. Early Greek successes seem to offer the prospect of a Panhellenic Greek state on both sides of the Aegean, but the Turkish revolutionaries' military successes of 1921 and 1922 would turn victory into a catastrophe, resulting in the collapse of Greek irredentist dreams, large refugee flows, and the destruction of both the Greek communities in Anatolia and Turkish communities in Greece. For the Turkish national movement, on the other hand, the war would represent a crucial phase of their war of independence. The negotiations that ended the war also mandated state-organized population exchanges, which profoundly changed the culture and ethnic composition of the region. Looking at our modern day, Greece and Turkey are planning rival naval exercises off Crete amid an escalating row over energy claims in the eastern Mediterranean. The two neighbors have seen frequent flare-ups, but this latest spat over gas reserves and maritime rights has prompted fears that tensions could escalate further. Several other countries have stakes in the dispute, and the two NATO allies are engaged in a war of words. What do you think about the Hellenic Army? Let me know all about it in the comments section below. Also, be sure you're subscribed with the bell rung and you'll get new videos like this one every week.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.